one thing about working in the woods that I like is, uh, of course, the sounds. You can hear Derek, he's cutting right here. I'm fixing to turn the camera over there while I'm greasing, where y'all can watch him while I'm greasing right quick. But I like the, the smells. You know, you can smell the, of course, the diesel fumes, uh, the trees being cut, the fresh trees, the dirt, all that stuff. The, it's still real dry. We got that little bit of rain, but I mean, it, it didn't rain 10 minutes. But uh, you, you, you can smell the smells of fall, and, uh, and I like that. So I'm going to let y'all watch Derek for a little bit here while I, while I grease. He's almost done with that little spot right there he's working on. Let me get the camera to sit right. I know I'm probably killing y'all, but let's see what it looks like. Yeah, he's right there. The camera to exactly sit right. There we go. There we go. All right, y'all enjoy Derek because he finishes that little spot out right there while I agree. the whole thing. They're gonna like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More pine trees out right there. Get them little hardwoods there too. Uh, let's see. Somebody texting me. This is for the loggers. Then uh, 
you want a good way, an app to keep up with your stuff, what's going on, and your loads, and, and all of that, a lot of the a lot of the larger companies they they have they have apps of their own and stuff like that things that they use to uh to track their loads and, and all that stuff but there's a uh there's an app here it's called uh it's right there it is it's called timber tracker let's go back here it is right there it's called timber tracker and uh it's by daniel turner and then and uh, he had asked me if I would help him kind of uh, promote that, and uh, and I told him told him I would. But it's uh, you can look him up online. It's uh, TimberTracker.net. Like I said, if you're a uh, an independent, or if you want to just keep up with your you know a way to keep up with your loads, what's going on, uh, that's an app for you that you can use right there. A, that's a good machine, man. Uh, had somebody a while back wanted me to do a video of what was the worst machine and what was the best machine we ever had. And I thought about that since that question was asked to me. And what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm going to do a video like that and I'm going to do it with me and Kevin. And, uh, because I want, I want Kevin's input too on the video. I think it'll be better with, uh, with Kevin on it also. But, and it's not, it's not a single machine either. Uh, my thoughts is I'm thinking about two machines as the worst. And then, uh, I'm thinking of several, it's a conglomeration of machines for the best. Got leaves falling out of trees over there. A little cross this morning, boy. Them leaves will come on. They'll come on out of these trees now, boy. Here's a little uh, something for y'all who don't know about trees. Uh, trees during the fall and winter months way a lot different than they do in the spring and summer months. And it's due to the fact that the sap comes out of those trees. Look at all that dust. If I hit that, look at him tipping. Uh, all the sap comes out of those trees. The trees go dormant during the winter time. So the sap, all the moisture, or most of the moisture, probably goes back into the ground in those trees. And then during the springtime, those trees pump that moisture back up inside of them to put leaves on them and, and pine needles and grow and everything. So a tree weighs a lot different summer to winter. And uh, of course this year it's been so dry. You see all the dust flying that he's cutting right there. It's been so dry that uh, once it gets to this point and we had no moisture, the trees go into what's called, what I call survival mode. So they go ahead and start shedding their own leaves even before it ever hits a frost or anything. If you want to know, it does take some balls to run that machine right there. You need a, you need a set because you're tipping all the time on it, you know? And you just, you can feel it. You can feel these machines if they move just a quarter of an inch, man, off the ground, you can feel it on the seat or, or a good operator can, anyhow. Well, he's done with that spot. Let's see how long this video is in. Nine minutes. We'll carry it a little bit longer and get it over the 10-minute mark or so that day. That's how I like them to look, man. Slick. Like nothing left standing on He just killed that disc the rest of the way there.
goes, there it goes. See it blow it off. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Stuff like that, man, just interests me. I don't know. Just like it. Ah. Uh, find me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. All that good stuff. Subscribe, man. I got a big goal in mind. I'd like to hit 50,000 subscribers by next November. It's easily doable. Y'all can do it. Last year, I had 1,000. I said I want to hit 10,000 by November. I smoked that. So 50,000 is within reach. We can do it. Y'all be good. Later, taters.